to make these two examples you've heard tonight the norm, not the exception. And I suppose we can facilitate it and make that change happen more quickly when we work in partnership with great organisations like Macmillan. So we've talked to you a little bit about our clinical strategy this evening. Uh, obviously there are a number of enabling strategies that will help us implement our clinical strategy. That includes our estates strategy, our people strategy, our engagement strategy, our ICT strategy, our transport strategy, all of which are critical to make sure that we can bring our clinical strategy to light. At our board meeting in July this year, we uh, approved an outline business case for that estates strategy that underpins our clinical strategy. And these plans would see us investing approximately 650 million pounds to redevelop our estates, particularly at Charing Cross and at our St Mary's site. This is going to take some time and we've got a commitment to work with our staff, with our local communities, with our patients and with our other stakeholders to bring these critical plans to life in the future. Critical. This has been a very quick run through our clinical strategy and our plans for the future. We want to very much build on this engagement session and continue to expand our engagement with our patients, with the community and with our stakeholders to really get your feedback and your guidance about how we may best implement our plans going forward. But that's enough of talking yeah. from us. What we would like to do now is go into the question and answer Maybe. time of this evening. And I'll invite up onto the stage our Deputy Chief Executive the Officer, knows, yeah. Mr Steve McManus, <laughs> who's going to be hosting the question and answer session. Yeah. And I'll invite the other presenters back up onto the stage.